The general election is coming up in November, and we are here to give you a good look at our candidates with the series Meet the Candidates. And today we're joined by Lucy Brenton. She is Indiana's Libertarian candidate seeking election to the U.S. Senate from Indiana. Good morning. Thank good, you for joining good us. Good morning, Sierra. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you drive up from today? <laughs> I'm, I'm living in Fishers, Indiana, from Indianapolis. So I'm a Hoosier born and bred. Um, married my college sweetheart. We, we met at IUPUI, and here we are with 10 children and two grandkids 28 years oh, later. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So, what is your background? What, are you, what is your profession? Oh, thank you. Um, I've actually been in finance since 1996. Okay. And what made you want to get into politics? Um, leaving a better world for my grandchildren. One thing that I really looked around and said is if we don't claim our liberty now, our, our personal freedoms will continue to erode. What kind of world am I going to leave my children and my grandchildren? The responsibility is on our generation, the people living now, to roll, back, um, roll us back to liberty, to the original Constitution. So it would be safe to say you are a family woman. I sure. am very family oriented for sure. So what do you guys do for fun? Gosh, um, well one of my favorite things actually is bicycling. I used to race bicycles at the velodrome when I was a teenager. Um, we love coming up to the Fort Wayne Zoo and really just hanging out, drinking coffee in our backyard. That's one of the best ways to unwind. So you come up here to bike, but do you have any other connections to Fort Wayne? Uh, it's funny you should ask. Uh, back in the early 2000s, I worked at AT&T and I actually programmed the phone systems for businesses up here. Oh, wow. So why do you want to represent the 3rd District of Indiana? Uh, because the 3rd District deserves somebody that will stand up for them and say no more taxes, no more insane laws. People in the 3rd District are in pain. They deserve to have medical cannabis and recreational cannabis to help change their state of mind and move from a state of anxiety to happiness. People should have the right to make the decisions over their own body. And right now, people in the 3rd District are forced to take pharmaceutical drugs that harm their liver instead of simply smoke cannabis in order to deal with pain and anxiety. Interesting. So we're going to switch gears to a little bit more <laughs> fun stuff. So take us back to when you were a teenager. Um, what were you doing then? When I was a teenager, I was actually Miss Indianapolis teen in 1989. Former, former Governor Bayes, first year as governor, as a matter of fact. Did you think you'd be sitting in this chair right here talking to me about this right no. now? No. <laughs> in fact, if I had a time machine, I could go back and tell 18-year-old Lucy, you know, one day you're going to run for United States Senate. I probably wouldn't have believed you. So we're going to do a little fun, fast round. So okay. I got a couple <clears throat> questions for you. So pizza or wings? Pizza. All right. So ice cream or cake? Ice cream. All right. Now we're going to do South Bend, Fort Wayne, or Indianapolis? Fort Wayne. Smart choice. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you choose Fort Wayne? Um, Indianapolis has gotten too big, and it just doesn't have that hometown feel. We don't have the river. We don't have Coney Island. <laughs> yeah, like good call. I've actually been able, I'm new to the area, so that's one of the staples I've been able to get to. It's good mm -hmm. to know that you've been able to get to. So describe your ideal weekend. Would it be with your family, I'm assuming? Yeah, an ideal weekend is in the woods in fall at Brown County State Park at one of the cabins, drinking coffee and watching the deer go through the yard. So now that we have our audience's attention, we're talking about food. Um, is there any misconceptions about yourself that you would like to clear up right now? Um, I think one of the things most people get wrong, because I'm a libertarian, is they mistake me for being a pacifist, when in fact I'm very strong in the Second Amendment rights. Um, all of our children get a gun when they're 12 years old, and we take them to um, the Revolutionary War Society in order to get training with that. Uh, that's AppleseedInfo.org for anybody that wants to know. Um, people mistake pacifists and non-aggression principle people like myself. So quickly, I don't believe in starting a fight, but I do believe in ending it. I don't believe in aggressing against countries or dropping bombs on them, but I do believe that if a, fought, if a fight is brought to us, we should make sure they never want to fight with anyone ever again. All right, and will we be seeing you in Fort Wayne anytime soon? Um, I don't have any campaign stops in Fort Wayne unless you'd like to organize one and invite me, <laughs> and then I'll show up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lucy. Thank we you, appreciate Sarah. you stopping by. And Brenton will be facing Democratic incumbent Joe Donnelly and Republican Mike Braun for U.S. Senate. The general election is November 6th. We'll be right back after the two-minute test drive.